Hello Triumph Enthusiasts, my name is James and today we're going to have an episode with lots and lots of content but with a reduced amount of time. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a lot of jump cuts, it's one of them episodes and it needs to happen because I want to get lots of stuff done today. Today I hope to finish the farm and uh, yeah, we have some ways of doing this. Uh, the first way uh, is that I've just defeated all six of the uh, Ive Cthulhu fights that we had available to us and we now have 18 gold. I also used 10 gold from the chest and bought 104 actuator blocks. So we're going to buy some more actuators. So this is the first step. Now I am fully aware that I did things a little bit wrong in the last episode, so that's fine. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and fix my mistakes from yesterday and do it all in one big rapid succession. So I'm going to go now and we're going to jump cut ahead and you'll see when I jump cut ahead what we're going to be doing. So I'll see you there. Okay, so one of the things I actually got wrong was the dimensions of the farm. I've given a two space gap uh, where I really should have given one because the glass uh, is meant to use as like a surface for the grass to still grow. So I'm actually ripping it all apart and building it up again. So that's one. Of the, that's the first step of today's episode. Okay, so I've just ripped everything up and step two is getting some wire cutters so that we can get rid of them actuator blocks that we placed last episode. And step two is getting lots and lots of wire. We're going to need ooh, as many actuator blocks as we have wire, really. So we're going to need a few more of these and a few more of them. Um, but yeah, definitely more wire. So maybe get some more money. That's on the to-do list. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually on a brand new world right now, and I said I would do this. I would come on and I would try and get some sand. Because I don't want our world to get too messed up, and we do need sand, so this just makes sense, right? And the plan is to get a ton of it, because we're going to need lots and lots and lots for glass. I also sold some more crimson uh, bars, and I got us lots more actuator blocks. And I got us lots more uh, wires, so we should be good in that front. But we definitely need more glass. Now, could you imagine our world looking like this? See, it wouldn't look good. I'm really glad that I did this on a separate world. Alright, back to our world. Now, so we can get rid of the horrible dirt back wall as well, I'm also crafting... Bam! A gold hammer. And this should help us out quite a lot. So, let's get rid of this. Actually, one thing that I wanted to do, and I'm glad that I'm doing it while I'm here, is I wanted to craft some armor. Now, I did say that I would uh, finish off the meteorite set. I believe I have two pieces already of it. Um, ooh, whereabouts are they? Are they in here? I'm pretty sure I have two pieces already. So, I wanted to finish off all the armor sets that I've been talking about for a long time. We've got iron already. Uh, we've not got any of the normal ores, have we? But I'm pretty sure I started crafting... Uh, the the actual set, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, well, let me just have a quick look for that. Maybe it's up here. However, I don't think it will be. Hmm. Let me just have a quick look. And uh, if I find it, then uh, actually maybe it's in here. Yeah, yeah, it is. There, awesome. I was just about to cut away then because I was dead worried. Um, Alright, so let's finish this set off. Okay. Bam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this meteorite for any uh, weapons that we might want to craft or bullets in the future because we do have a full set. Now, we're not going to be wearing this right now, but I do have a good idea of where we can put it. And uh, I'll tell you about that later on. Uh, one of the armor sets I also want to complete was the jungle armor set. And now I believe it uses vines and spore. So let's see how many vines and spore we have. We have 11 vines there, 6 spore there. Uh, let's keep getting spore, because I'm pretty sure I've got them scattered around loads of chests. So we've got five pieces there. Um, have we got any in here? No. Any in here? No. None in here. I just need that um, guide to move. There we go. We have got another few vines in here. I did see some in here. So we've got three pieces there. Now let's just see how much it is to craft. So the head costs... Eight pieces of jungle spore. Uh, they class. They cost uh, just that. And now I should have some more in here. So I've got some more jungle spore there. Have we got any more in here? Maybe. Hmm. No. That may be something that we have to go back for. Is jungle spore? And I was pretty sure I was getting loads of it as well. Uh, I may have accidentally bin some of it. I don't think I have though. 
Hmm. Maybe. But yeah, that's something I want to get completed. So tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll go to jungle and we'll get some jungle spore. Let me just be sure that's what it takes. No, apparently not. What does the body take? The body takes uh, some stingers and some jungle spore. So we'll make sure to get that tomorrow. And I think that's about it for the armors that we can craft. There is also necro, I believe, because um, we have tons of cobwebs, don't we? So let's look for some cobwebs. So we've got 266 there. We've got 91 there. Uh, and we should have some bones somewhere. We got some bones in here? Nope. What about in here? We got any bones? Nope. Hmm. There we go. There's some bones. Let's see if we can craft here. Now I can't remember exactly where you craft the uh, the actual set, so let's put the cobwebs in here. The bones are crafted at a workbench. Okay, that sounds pretty reasonable. So let's see if what we can craft. So necro one, necro two, and necro three. So we just crafted a lot of uh, a lot of armor there. And it is a blood moon, but I don't really care. I'm going to go back to the project. And so I'm going to jump cut ahead now. But I will put that armor in the chest so we can find it later. Whew, okay. So this took absolutely forever and I'm really shattered now. But this is the completed, uh, almost completed farm. In its entirety, um, I was about to run out of actuator block. So I decided probably best to call it quits. And this did take me a long time. So I've not yet talked this up. But here's the premise, in case you didn't know. Um, you've hooked them up to actuator blocks, and when you flip a switch, what actually happens is all the blocks look like they've disappeared, and it breaks the glass, uh, the glass, the grass, and that drops the bait, so the worms and the grasshoppers. And I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited to see how it works. Obviously, we're going to have to wait until the grass grows, and that'll take a while. Um, but I think for now, I'm going to do some jump cuts. This is going to be the jump cut episode, because I want to get lots done. Uh, I want to go finish that armor set, and uh, I want to wait for this grass to grow. So we'll come back in a little bit with uh, a switch to make this work, and hopefully it should work well. Uh, I was just looking on the map, and I was just thinking, wow, it'd be really cool to build a house here, but problem is uh, I don't really like the location. It's my only problem. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go try find that uh, queen bee and uh, finish the armor set. So I'm going to jump cut ahead and see what I can find. All right. Let's go. So one of the things I'm doing in today's episode is I'm actually going to try to find the queen bee biome now. I know it's been a big thing for a long time, but somebody told me to try a different area of the jungle in the sense of abandon my current, abandon my current hole and try like here or here or here. Uh, and I got a tweet. Uh, nothing that specific, but it's what I'm going on. So I'll see if it works and I'll jump in if it does. Okay, so I teleported back home just to see if I had enough for the armor set that I wanted to craft. And I think, I think I do. I need stingers though, there's six in there. All right, get out of the way. Uh, there's six in there. How many is there in here? Uh, well, there's absolutely none. Oh, there's six there. Just turn off all man. How many's in there? Not that many. Mm, being, being none. Being none, yes. How many in there? Uh, none. None. How many in there? None. Oh, come on, please be some more stingers. Seven. I'll take it. And then I think we just need to put down an amble. Which I can do now because we have done crafting all the stuff. Uh, which piece do we need? We need the chest piece, right? Yes, we do. We need the chest piece, and we are done. Are you ready? Bam! Nice. Looking uh, looking very green today. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. How much does that do now? What's our regen? Uh, reduce mana usage, increase critical strength chance. That's bloody awesome, isn't it? So we're off back to the jungle. Oh, I want to go buy some bombs. I'm off back to the jungle, and I am finding this queen bee. Look at this. Look at this. No queen bee. Seriously. I feel like red's mocking me. I'm trying there, there, uh, and... Ooh. That's it. There, there, 
or there, and that's it. If I don't find it then, I'm cutting my losses. I'll make a new world and I'll find them because I want the summoner's armor. That's the thing. But uh, whew, I'll let me just get mad about it and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I seriously can't find one. Look at that. Explored. Explored, explored, explored. My god, I'm going to drive myself crazy if I don't find this thing. I've wasted so many hours looking for it. It's really annoying that I don't have one. It's insanely annoying. Maybe there's one there. See, I'm still hooked. I'm going to still try and find it. Uh, and I'll see what I can do. But I'm getting insanely bored now. I'm just constantly searching. It's very, very boring. So I'll see what I can do. Now, I'm not exactly a cheater. But I was getting insanely concerned that I was wasting my time trying to find this mythical bee biome. It's not there. This is a map viewer. And as you can see, there are no bee biomes. I've wasted hours on this. I'm insanely disinsat like I'm insanely upset about it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new like world and we're gonna try and tackle that sometime. But that's about that, and I'm really sorry that that had to happen. But it did. It did have to happen because I've wasted way too much time on it. Way too much time. So I actually filmed half of today's video yesterday because I knew that it would take a lot of time to build all of the, the bait farm and to go through the jungle one more time. And today I'm going to be continuing the second half of today's episode with no uh, interruptions or anything like that in the sense of like no jump cuts. Um, this is a new world but we're not going to be using this as a world for us really. Uh, what this is is because I was so upset that we didn't get a biome, a bee biome. Uh, I've made this world, obviously this is where we got our sand from in the uh, earlier part of the episode. And what we're going to do today is we're going to try and find a bee biome and uh, just see what we can find. Because I think it's a little bit unfair, I know this is corruption, we're going to pass this. It's a little bit unfair that we don't have the biome because I wanted it so much and uh, we searched for it for such a long time. That it just seems such a waste to waste all that time and not get anything for it. So I've made this new world and we're going to find a bee biome. That's the goal. Uh, but I am going to jump cut ahead until I find it because it's going to take me some time because this is obviously a fresh world. But it's something I'm quite passionate about because I want the summoner's armour. And I've also brought some bombs in that so we can recreate our own uh, bee biome in our own world. So I think that's like a fun little mix. So I'm going to jump cut ahead if I find one. If I find anything of interest, by the way, I am going to keep it because there's some fantastic fresh loot and not every world has every single bit of loot. So if I find anything interesting, I will keep it and I'll talk about it at the end. So I'm just going to keep going on and we'll see if we can find that bee biome. Okay, so we found one within a few minutes. Uh, I'll just show you what um, map there. Um, and did we find anything interesting? No, we just found a few cool potions. Um, I have bought, if you, I have brought my armor with me. Uh, this armor because I want to fight him with the water belt. Uh, now I am notorious for being awful at this fight. I really am. And so that might be a problem. <laughs> but hopefully this turns out okay. We seem to have spawned just in the middle of this cool little uh, like merging world as well. Which looks really really awesome. We'll take this dynamite with us. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll check out this second bit here. Uh, and we'll try and establish a little area to fight. I'm going to blow this up real quick. There we go. That should take care of the bees as well. Oh, there we go. Come on. Bees are so small, they always do a little dumb damage on me. Uh, and let's take some more here. So there we go. We've got lots of nice blocks now. We just need to be able to grab some honey with us. I'm not sure how we do that. I don't think you can, like, bring honey with you, can you? Unless you bring it in, like, a bucket. And then, uh... We don't even have a bucket on us. What's it got in here? Just a, just some interesting stuff. Just some gold. Um, and what have we got in here actually? See, this is like this is a pretty cool world for loot in general. Let's do that. That should open that up. Okay, what's in here? Um, just another. I feel we've got a legendary staff of regrowth. That's a lot better than our one at the minute. So we'll take that with us, and we'll take the dynamite. Okay, so let's think about how we're going to fight this guy. So, let's put some torches up here. Uh, I should probably actually blow out this back wall here. 
Oh, please don't drop, because I know they drop, don't they? Alright, okay. And then, we'll make some more. Just real quick. Oh no, I don't even have any slime on me. Um, this should be a good area to find. I'll put down some platforms, so we can dodge. Just along here. And I'm not sure exactly what it takes to um, to start a queen bee fight in um, your own world. I'm going to look up the uh, crafting recipe for a bee nation after this. And we'll see what we need to take with us to do another fight, basically. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm notorious for being bad at this one. So, if it gets a bit too much, uh, I'm sorry if I lose. But we should be fine. So, it comes up here, doesn't it? Obviously, the water bottle is good for this. Nice for giving mana star right there. And that helps out a lot. Keep moving for this anyway. Let's see what we can do. But we have got this uh, mana armor, so it should help with uh, getting these stars here. It's a good thing I'm using all these uh, hunters potions as well. I right, should come to the top again. Oh no, maybe not. Just dipping around. Not got anything to fight this guy with. Let's heal up. Okay. Use a water bolt one more time. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Let's not get hit. And we'll save our mana for when it's on top of us. Which I think is now. There we go. We'll grab all these mana stars. And this should be the final blow. At least I imagine it will be. Ooh. Okay, come on. Come to the top. Whoa, hey. Nice one. Awesome. We actually did the fight. Um, so I'm going to go look up some crafting recipes real quick and I'll cut back in once I know the scoop. Ooh, uh, I was just blowing up this world because I've just figured out how to craft the abomination and some interesting wart pastas, but it seems to have gone down here. Uh, it's just down here. Let's take this thing out. Uh, it's a very special zombie. Uh, and it's very special indeed. Should probably use our water bowl right here. Because uh, he drops the archaeologist hat, which is a reference to Indiana Jones. And you'll know that if you've watched any of my reference videos, because I've done quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, what I'm doing is I'm blowing up the honey, we're taking it with us, we're blowing up the hive, and I'm going to try and build my own. Um, I should be able to craft the back walls because I do have the uh, the crafting station for honey, and we should be able to just build one in our world pretty easily, and we should be able to spawn another boss fight, uh, which is uh, which is going to be interesting, so we'll see what we can do. Obviously we've got the stuff there, and we'll go build one in our own world, and I'm going to jump cut ahead to that. Okay, so we're back on our own world now, and I've uh, cleared out the inventory a little bit. And uh, I've just come to this point in the map, and I feel like this is the area where we're going to build it. And so what I'm going to do now, actually, will probably be here. I'm just going to blow up this area a little bit, uh, so hopefully it takes out a little bit of the back wall. And uh, I didn't even bring any dynamite on me, so I'm going to have to come back again. And uh, yeah, this is the episode of Jump Cuts, but that's fine, we're getting lots of stuff done. Tomorrow will be a regular episode, as normal. Okay, so it's complete, and this is in, like, remembrance of all the time that we actually spent trying to make one of these, like, trying to find one, sorry. So, I thought that I would make one in my world, and uh, all I did was I used the hive wand to, um, to actually place, like, uh, this, the hive wand to actually place the honey that we'd got from the other world, or well, the hive, uh, and then I actually used the hive wall that we actually found to uh, basically replicate that. And uh, thankfully we had enough of each, and it's worked out really, really well. Uh, this is the honey dispenser, by the way, and it uses the honey block that we actually sourced, and you get honey block through um, putting honey and water together. And you can actually craft, uh, like, furniture and stuff. So if we make a quick set of it... Okay, let's get a chair. We've got to save enough, though, for uh, our house. Uh, well, our house, uh, for our actual spawning and stuff. I just want to see if we can maybe, uh... oh no, that's already big enough. Um... <laughs> I was sun a little uh, bee going on there. Bam! Uh, I want to see if we can place this down. And uh, what's the criteria for a house? If we put one of these, we'll just move this torch and put this chair down. Would this class as a home? Maybe? 
Wow, it is actually suitable. And uh, I think our cloth here should live here. Because uh, why not, eh? Why not? Uh, one of the things I do want to come and do is I want to bring... Uh, I want to... Oh, let's get rid of that. I do want to... Um, we'll leave this honey dispenser down here, actually. I do want to craft uh, some orange torches for this little area. I think that would be really nice. Um, because, you know, some orange torches will make this place look really nice. And the orange torches are actually my torch. And to go with the thing. Uh, I'm going to do one last queen bee fight. And see what we can do. Like I say, I am awful at this fight. As you all should know by now. I just want to test this thing out. Ooh, I didn't give myself large enough room to dodge. I best not die. And after all of this. It's all good though, because I can always craft another. I really should have brought some mana potion, shouldn't I? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I really should have done. Okay, there's no point in me using the sword really, because I've not even got my sword or armor on. Just got to rebuild that mana slowly. I wish I'd used a uh, potion to find out where enemies are as well. That would have been pretty damn helpful. Oh no. Yeah, it's way too small to fight this thing in here. It's not even spawning its little bees, is it? Just shooting us. Should we leave? Right, okay. So we finally got some mana. Come on, come on, above us. Hurry up. There we go. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> Whoops. Right, let's get you out of the way. No, come on. This thing needs to get out of the way. Oh no, come on, don't die. It's kind of annoying because I spent so long doing this. Come on, who will last longer, me or him? Come on, you're almost dead, just die, come on. Oh my god, I actually did it. Who thought I'd die? Come on, lift up your hand. Who thought I'd die? Because I did. Hmm, where should we go fight another one? We should probably fight another one there. Uh, should we do that today? I might save that for tomorrow. I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. It's been a very productive episode. I have done a lot of jump cuts, but tomorrow it's back to normal, okay? So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and tomorrow we'll go check out the farming bait farm, because I imagine by then, all the grass will have grown. And look at him, he's just chilling down there. Probably should have put some platforms there for him. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Peace.